Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at DemoGPT, which is a groundbreaking autonomous generative AI application generator. With one single prompt, you're able to create many different applications. And this is by utilizing the interactive streamlit apps that are created with the innovative capabilities of Langchain, as well as the power of Llama 2. Now, this impressive application also harnesses the potential of OpenAI's GPT 3.5 Turbo model. And basically, it's used to automate the processes that are required to create large language model based applications. Now, at its core, DemoGPT employs the GPT 3.5 Turbo model to handle complex language based tasks as well as interactions. Now, the model has been trained on a vast amount of text data as well as different types of corpuses which enables it to understand human language and generate contextualized relevant responses. Now this allows users to basically communicate with the application with natural language which provides it for a seamless and user-friendly experience. Now one of the main primary functionalities of DemoGPT is to generate Python code automatically and this is by providing a prompt or a description of the desired application's behavior and from this users can basically rely on GPT's 3.5 Turbo model to generate the necessary Python code to implement the application's functionalities. Now this feature significantly reduces the amount of manual coding that is required and it expedites the deployment process which makes is so much easier for both the developers as well as the non-technical users to create applications while utilizing demo gpt so guys in today's video we're going to be taking a look a little bit more in depth as to what you can do with demo gpt as to some of the apps that you can create taking a look at the demo itself showcasing you how you can actually download it as well as taking a look at the architecture and this is something that i'll be showcasing throughout today's video so with that thought guys it would mean the whole world to me if you guys can go on twitter follow me at the world of ai if you guys haven't already i'm going to be posting the latest ai news over here now if you guys haven't subscribed already i don't know what you guys are doing but definitely do so turn the notification bell like this video and if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos i highly highly recommend that you do so because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from so with that thought guys let's get right into the video now, firstly, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the architecture because DemoGPT's architecture is quite innovative and it's such a powerful framework as it brings together various cutting edge technologies to create the auto generative AI application generator. Now, at its core, as you talked about, it utilizes GPT's 3.5 Turbo model that has been developed by OpenAI, and it serves as the engine for the natural language understanding and generation. It basically utilizes the model that has been trained on a vast amount of corpuses of text data, and it enables it to comprehend human language and respond to textual generation. Now, by interacting with users through natural language prompts, the GPT 3.5 Turbo model can basically generate Python code automatically, which eliminates the need for manual coding and streamlining the application development process. Now, in addition to the Python code generation, Demo GPT is also able to incorporate the transformative capabilities of Langchain. Now, this technology is used to allow for the creation of efficient data processing workflows through Langchain pipelines. Now, this pipeline is used to manage data transformations, manipulations, as well as integrations that are used seamlessly. Now, optimizing the handling of complex data interactions within the application is done by leveraging Langchain. And from this, DemoGTT is basically able to enhance its data management and boost the overall performance of its functionalities of the whole app that it generates. Now, as we talked about at the start, DemoGPT's architecture is able to showcase that it offers users an interactive Streamlit interface. Now, Streamlit is a user-friendly Python library, and it simplifies the creation of web-based data applications. Now, through this interface, users can basically effortlessly interact with the application, input data, visualize the results, and experience the app's features in an intuitive and visually appealing manner. And this is something that helps you basically have a vision with what you're actually creating. It starts off with the feedback, and then it utilizes different pipelines within Langchain to help you code and get the right application to generate. 
Now guys, there is an open source demo generator and this is something that you can be using to generate smaller examples. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna showcase how to actually install it later on, but I'm just gonna show you a small demo as to what you can do. But first things first, you're gonna need to generate your own open API key. Open AI API key, sorry. I keep messing that up every time. But once you have that copied, you can paste it over here and you can now type your demo title. I will just name it YouTube demo. And now I'm gonna ask it to basically use a blog post generator from this title. Now, let me just name it something else. YouTube video on AI content. And then I'm gonna press this and it will start generating the different type of example that I required it to create. So in this case, I'm creating a blog post generator from this title. And this is gonna help me create this application. Now it's asking for the title of your blog post. So I'll just say uh, YouTube, YouTube content revolution from AI. Now I'm just gonna create a blog post from this. You, so you can see like it was from one single prompt, I was able to create this blog post generator application. It basically helps create and generate blog posts from a single title. I don't know what the hell I was thinking in terms of the title. I don't know, I was just spazzing out and thinking about something random. And we can see right here, it's able to create this blog post on it. Uh, obviously, it's not gonna be the best blog out there, but it's a good start. You can pile it up, compile it with different informations, and you can get something generated. But from the fact that you're able to create an application from a single prompt, it is amazing. Now, you can have a lyrics generator from a song title. You can twist generation from a hashtag. You can have an email generator. And this is going to require to generate the code. Obviously, it's going to utilize OpenAI's API key to do so. But once that is done, you can see have the name of the sender over here, name of the receiver, purpose of the email, primary keywords, and the tone of the email. And then once you're done, you can click generate and you're going to be able to generate the email. This is absolutely amazing, guys, because from one single prompt, you're able to create different types of large language model applications, which could be used for different types of tasks, as well as different types of things that could be utilized for different workflows. So check this out. Definitely check the generator out, the actual demo generator, so you get a better idea. Now, they have a pretty good interactive website, so you can get a lot more information out of this if you want. But with that thought, guys, let me showcase how you can actually install it locally onto your desktop. Now, first things first, you're going to need to have an API key that is connected to a billing account so that you can utilize OpenAPI's key, OpenAI's API key. Now, secondly, you'll need Git, which is an application that helps you clone a repository onto your CPU. You will also need Python. And lastly, you'll need Visual Studio Code as your code editor. This is optional, but in my case, I'm going to be using it. Now, first things first, go on to the GitHub repo, and I'll leave all the links in the description below so you can easily access it. Click on the green code over here, copy it, scroll down, go back to the command, command prompt area that will be used for the installation. Now, open up command prompt. Once that is done, type in git clone, paste the link, click enter. Now, it will start cloning the repository onto your desktop. Now, once this is done, you can type in CD demo GPT to be in the folder. Now, once you are done, you need to start installing the right dependencies and the packages that are required from the demo GPT file. Now, once you have pasted this into the command prompt, click enter and it will now start unpacking the files from demo GPT and start installing the different types of packages that are used for the application. Now, this might take a couple seconds and once that is done, I'll be right back. Now it is finished, so I copied the oh, oops, I copied this command prompt, which is once you have installed it, you can basically run it by typing this command prompt into your command uh, prompt area. So now you can host it on your network URL or your local host. In my case, I'm going to be using my local host, and you can see right here, this is demo GPT. You can start working on different things, but first things first, you will need to input your open API key and that is by pasting it here. Now, once you have pasted it, you can click enter and start utilizing this. 
So guys, I just asked it to create an SEO tag generator. So I asked it, create me a generator for finding me the best SEO tags for a certain topic. Now it's currently finding the code that will be used to help create this application. Now, once this is done, I'll be right back. Now guys, once it was finished, it actually opened up two tabs. I don't know why it did that, but I can see right here, I can enter this topic. Let me just say, uh, llama two. Now I'm gonna click enter, generate the SEO tags. Now, once this is running, I'll let it run on the side, but I want to showcase one cool thing that I didn't notice before. And that is that, that is the code that is generated for this application. It actually pastes the code down here. I never knew that it would actually paste the code, which is quite helpful because if you want to tweak it or add it to a different workflow, you can do so by copying this. Now, let's see right here. Wow, it did it. It was able to generate the different types of SEO code tags that are needed with that are associated with llama 2. now some of these tags might not be relevant so this is one thing that you could tweak later on with the code by telling it to specifically find codes that are relevant to the actual topic now this is something that i could have inputted into the prompt but it's a learning thing and as you keep using this you can get a better idea but you get the gist of it you're able to create apps with this amazing application and in conclusion guys i hope you found this video to be beneficial demo gpt is an amazing application that can automatically generate python code applications uh, but and that is by utilizing llama 2 as well as openai's 3.5 turbo model as well as Langchain. So I hope you got some sort of value out of today's video. I really, really appreciate it. If you guys can go give the world of AI a follow, if you guys haven't already, Just turn on the notification bell on the world of AI on the YouTube channel, subscribe, like this video. And if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, it'd mean the world to me if you guys can do so. So with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, spread positivity, have a smile, and I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out fellas.